Hi, I'm Sina and Sina. Welcome back to new Pokemon Snap. We are on episode 10 right now. Last episode we discovered the Thanks. Illumina Pokemon in the volcano, which was basically our first boss battle. Well, real boss battle. I mean, you have the first Illumina Pokemon in here, but that's not much of a, a difficult uh, photo session. Now, I would like to uh, go back to the volcano and check the luminous pole. Just look at this, like, I go all over the place. But... I would prefer to visit the, the regular volcano before going to the luminous spot. I mean, I could go back here, but as you can see, it's a little confusing. If you remember last episode, it was very cha chaotic. I don't know how to pronounce that word. I mean, it comes from chaos, chaos, Ka chaos, chaotic, chaotic, I don't really know, if you know, please leave a comment, let me know. It was pretty hectic, alright? <laughs> so it was hard to, to take pictures in those conditions. So what I want to do is investigate a little more of this on my free time, to see what's up. So what I'm going to do first, in this case, is go back to the forest, the Salesworth forest. Yeah, it's really confusing, but I really like the area, and we're about to level up, so... I better do it now. Since I'm filming this episode back to back with the other one, so that's why we I haven't, like, leveled any areas or anything. I literally just took a small break and then continued with the game. Good luck! Okay, now we see the shift it. Maybe I hit it with something. You can hear the escorts. Maybe if I throw some apples behind that rock, I mean, it looks pretty suspicious. Aha! So now we know where the escort is. Okay, good technical picture. Okay, there goes the shift tree. Now we know there is an esper in here, so maybe we throw some apples. Ah, that's an apple. <laughs> I thought it was a crystal bloom. Okay, here we go. Okay, the unpheasant. Oh yeah, this shift tree. Looks like they're having like some sort of discussion. Or maybe it's like the shift tree trying to teach something to the pension. I am not sure. Oh, that, that was a great picture. He looks, yeah, look, look at him, he looks really happy. Maybe he's the, I mean, if I had to guess, maybe the, the ship tree is like training the Pancham and he's just laughing at the, the poor efforts of the little guy. Okay, I, I, I'll try not to use that many pictures on, on this area. Okay, there was another punch in there. Also, I just remember... Uh... Oh yeah, I was saying, I remember like the Pokemon that was... Like, that came out of the tree before... Behind the tree, sorry before the last, uh, we could finish this area in the last episode. So that was interesting. Okay, let's try to light the crystal balloons. Try 
throw some apples. Maybe something would came out. I mean, these crystal blooms are super suspicious if you ask me. For example, this Trevenant looks like it's blocking the crystal blooms. Oh, yeah, I couldn't. Right. Oh! She looks happy. Alright. So that was the trick to that. Okay, and the Trevenant picture. Oh, there is a shift tree like right there. Okay, good picture. Uh, oh. Okay, and then ooh, that's a good. Oh, that's a good picture too. Here, have an apple. Excellent. That's great. Okay, what else is in here? I mean, uh, this area is so long that it's hard to, like, conserve enough pictures for when you finish. Okay, that's a beware. Yes, I know I'm running out of memory. Thank you for reminding me, Professor. Okay. Oh, that that was a great picture. Okay, there's a time jump in there. A beware. Yeah, I I have a feeling that it was a beware. Oh, tree block. Okay, two more pictures. We need to be really careful. Oh, hello, Tad. Hey, fella. Do you want an apple? Do you want to be disturbed by an apple? You've run out of memory. Excellent. Let's call that enough research for now. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna retry this stage again, but this time I'm gonna try not to use as much film at the beginning uh, I'll try this one this one looks good also the Trevon and he's riding there this one is also <laughs> I mean I just love how, uh, how he's having a hard to laugh just look at him, he looks so happy to be there. To be there. So 16 is a good candidate. Oh wow, 24 too. I'm gonna pick 24. Oh, I wanna pick 16 too. About 24. It is because of the star level. Couldn't get into the spur pictures, but now I know what I need to do. So either number seven or number three. Number seven has more of the Trevenant, number three is a little closer to him. And I think a little more in the middle. I'll pick number seven. I guess number five is okay. Number five again. Yeah, I think number five. <laughs> oh, come on. Really? It looks so weird. I'll pick. 
swaps, but yeah, it looks so majestic in this one. So number four, yeah, number four. Number six is a, yeah, number six is a good one too. Hmm. I'll pick number four. He looks, I mean, it's in a different position than the rest of one, so maybe I get more points for that. Okay, since this is the only one that is two stars, I'll take this one. Trampa is like uh, the same as the Bulbas from the last episode, like, I must go, my planet beats me. Trampa fainted on the way to his planet. <laughs> okay. Mm. This one that has the full, uh, the full body Trampa, but this one that has him closer, I'll take this one. Okay, let's check. Let's do this. I mean, it was almost the same. If I if I manage, if I somehow managed to take like the the second picture from the front, I would have get a lot more points, I guess. I'm uh, sorry if I get tangled with words. Sometimes, like, I, I know uh, what I'm saying doesn't sound right, but I don't know what to do. Sometimes I just get tangled. Great timing. Oh, wow. Perfect size. I'll take it. Thank you. Mm. Great timing. I mean, uh, it's there. Ooh, Germanon. Nice work. Okay, I'll take it, thank you. Ooh, Kecleon. Nice work. If there was another Pokemon or maybe a better background, I would have gotten like a much better score. Mm. Well, uh, just a little more. Not much. Nice work. Okay, good size, good direction and placement. Okay, can't complain. Ooh, low catch. A new discovery. Great timing. I try. Great timing. I'm sorry, I get distracted every time the audio breaks. I swear it's not my intention, but the audio is doing that. And I kinda stop it. The only, the only way I could do that, great, I'm sorry, I got distracted, that's great. The only way to fix that, it would be like, to play uh, using OBS as my main screen, but the problem with that is that there is a slight lag on the inputs, so yeah, it will suck for me a lot. And maybe you, you can hear it, which will be great. I guess that if you have, uh, if you're listening to the video on, low, on a lower audio or something. Mm. I need to do some research nice that, on that. Maybe it's something I can, I can fix. Maybe I'm just using too much volume or something, but from my, what I could gather, uh, maybe it could be that. The thing is, if I use the normal audio on these videos, they are gonna, uh, you're, you're gonna hear like I'm whispering. Nice work. If you want a comparison, just watch my first episode. During the first episode, uh, I didn't realize this, so I just uploaded the episode. I mean, for me, it did. When I'm listening to it, it's alright because I have headphones on or ear or earbuds or any, or something. But when I was trying to like watch it to see how how the sound how the sound was, I couldn't. Of course, I have like two fans on because it's really hot, so it's a little hard to listen. That's normal. But when I compare it like to other videos on YouTube, the other videos, like I could I could hear them. 
perfectly clear. Um, um, when comparing them to mine, mine was like I was just whispering like this. Oh, I unlocked something new. Great. Like even my tone of voice, the voice I'm using right now to to narrate this, it's not the regular voice I use when talking, unless I get uh, super excited about something. I mean, I am excited about this game, that's why I'm using this tone of voice. But, uh, let me see. Uh, usually, I speak with this other tone, you see? This is my regular tone of voice. And even then, it's like... It hurts a little on my throat when I when I use this tone, you see. But on the other hand, I one, I'm excited for this game, and two, like I don't know if you will be able to listen to me. But don't worry, like I'm always taking like some water and stuff between between episodes just to make sure my my throat doesn't get sore. And another funny thing is, uh, I mean, this is my regular speaking voice, but if, uh, even then, if I get distracted while talking, it will eventually like the, the start going up and up and up and up until I'm talking like this again. So uh, I don't know. It's something unconscious I do. Let's go back to the game. I got distracted again. I'm very sorry. I heard there was another huge general reading while you were out doing professor. research. Come on, Professor, tell us what happened. <sighs> yes, yes, I was just about to... Here's the thing. Damn brat. There was a tremendous amount of energy coming from deep within the forest. It's got to be an Illumina Pokémon. <laughs> oh, that's great. And I'm almost certain that it's connected to the ruins you saw you nearby. Can you go check it out as soon as you're ready? I guess we just unlock another Illumina Pokemon. Like, I don't know how we're doing this. For example, right. on the desert and on the on this area, the beach, we haven't unlocked the Illumina stages yet. And, and we have been on, uh, for a, a, on these areas for a few episodes now. The volcano was my first visit and I unlocked something, and in here too. Counting on you. Let's visit the Illumina spot. Hopefully this won't be as challenging as the, the one in the volcano. Where's that reading coming from? Hmm. Looks like it's right under you. Oh 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 oh! Oh, it's a uh, mylotic, mylotic, or however you want to call it. Call her. Follow that mylotic. Mylotic. Thank you. Thank you, cutscene. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, but I can't... Like, she's not glowing, so... It just surfaced. I'm sure you could use an Illumina Orb. Yes, I'm trying, but she's so fast. Thank you, my lucky. Okay, I bet there's something else in this forest. Something hidden. But we can check that later. Let's concentrate on the my Uh oh oh. Oh. Maybe she moved to another area. To reach it down there. Oh yeah, I mean the game wants me to hit her with flop fruit. I mean, something could be in there, for example. And I already saw the Milotic, don't worry. I, it's just a little hard to hit here. Yes, excellent. Now come on out. Come on, she's very far.
Okay, come to me. Yeah, no, it's a little hard to... She's very fast, I'll give her that. This is a little easier than the Volcarona, if you ask me, for now at least. Okay, I managed to hit you, now come on out. So I can hit you with a... Illumina Ball. Those are some great pictures. I'm just trying to keep her like in the Illumina state. And since I'm only photographing her, I think it's okay if I... Oh, 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 oh. So it's okay to go all like gung-ho with the pictures. I just wish you could adjust the distance of the flood for the, uh, with a little more precision. Like maybe get a, another another item that lets you like throw them faster or like higher with without having like to aim that much. Or maybe like an auto lock. Uh, Looks like it's swimming away. Oh. Uh, an auto lock on function. Just. Oh, why didn't I play the flute? I forgot about that. I mean, the music. Uh, it used to be a flute on the first game, but you know. I'm calling it a flute because it reminds me of that. Because it's basically that. Okay. We got all of this cost professor, yes I agree. For example, I need a salary, you know? I'm not doing this for free. Okay, so we have one and two star pictures, okay. Uh, this one looks good. So, 36. 35 looks good too, I'm not gonna lie. You can see the whole body on this one. Basically, if you're starting from 30, you got some good shots. Eighteen is good too. Actually I, I like eighteen very much. You can see the whole body. It's right in the middle. Seventeen, alright. Thirteen? Thirteen? Yeah, but I prefer 18. Yeah, 18 is like the bigger one. 18 is... Uh, was there a crystal bloom in there? Oh yeah, 18. Don't worry, we will, uh, we will come back to this one right away. I'm interested in... See what is like I can unlock. Or maybe I shouldn't. I, I keep double guessing myself every time I say I'm going to do this, I end up doing something else. Oh wow, good pose, good size, yeah. Okay. Look at that, you hit a new stage in your research. Keep an eye out for changes, no matter how small. Huh. By the way, now that you got the Illumina Pokemon info, I got something to report. I'll feed you once your photos are square away. I think you were pleased to hear this.
Another highlight, another amazing Illumina Pokemon. Yep. That's right. It's just like the travel log said. Every part of Lentil is home to its own Illumina Pokemon. The question is, how could Captain Fins have found that out? That's not Captain Fins. That's the Goron for, from Breath of the Wild. Uh, what was his name? Darudia or? Give me a second, I'm gonna look that I'm back. So his name is Daruk. That's Daruk from Breath of the Wild, and that right there is Riviali. You're, you're not uh, messing with me this time. I know those two are like champions that try to seal cannon. <laughs> okay, the question is, how could Captain Vince have fought an app? Oh, what? I just reread that line. Whoops. He only wrote about meeting two of them in a Pokemon, right? Yes, and he also wrote that there were four. Hmm. The mysteries just keep piling up. Yep. Indeed, that was makes this so intriguing. So, according to that, there should be four. We have three. That means there's only one more to unlock. Maybe. I mean, it could. It comes to reason that there could be more. Hi. But the game is trying to surprise us. Okay. Hey there, Shatterbox. Remember how I suggested you to doing a little photography here at camp? Yeah, yeah thanks for the tip. It was cool seeing camp through the fresh, through fresh nice. eyes. In that case, here's another idea. Why not try starting from a different spot? That might give you a new pers another new perspective. Huh? Different spot? Like where? How about right here? That's different enough, isn't it? You can take a different round around the camp depending where you start, here, or by the lab. Oh, I have to give it a try later then. Sounds good. Just use the icon on the upper left of the, re of the research camp menu to start. Being more deeply attuned to everything happening right around you will make you a better photographer. Anyways, have fun and take all the photos you like. Did I mention I was gonna try the next episode? Last episode, I mean? Mm, oh, let's try it now. Oh, well. Stout line. Come on. You know you wanna eat it. Thank you. Oh, I'm uh, out. Wake up. Oh, that's a, a great face. Oh, a great picture because it has the hair here on the background. Okay, what else is in here? Oh, a bunel... No, it's not a bunel or or is it? Oh, come on. Wow, there is there is a lot of Pokemon in this area alone. I'm very sorry for this. Oh! <laughs> oh, that was, that was great. I didn't know that could happen. Oh, that even looks a little distressed. I'm sorry, buddy. Have an apple. Oh, 
Oh, I wanted to take a picture of the rubbish. Yeah! Okay, that was a great chance. I mentioned this before, but I I, I don't dislike rubbish as much as... Uh, like, a lot of people just hate him. Come on, Sir Wolf. Come on. Do you think I'm going to fall for that? Yeah, I was, I was saying, I, I like rubbish. I used to be like on the group of people that dislike him for just being a trash bag. But I remember I was watching an episode of the anime. Oh, Abunil. Abunelby or Abunir or whatever. Oh, it's like playing whack a mole but with bunnies. Oh, come on! How would that didn't hit it? Oh, I'm trying to photograph like the starlies on the background. Oh, sorry. Uh, I was watching an episode of the anime. There was like some provisions and garbage in there. I mean, they look harmless enough. They were happy, and wow. they look kind of cute. So I said to myself, "What am I hating on them?" And I just realized uh, uh, that I was doing it because I was just on the hate train, like everyone else. So yeah, I decided that no, I, I was not going to do that. So there I am. Is it rubbish the best Pokemon? I wouldn't say that. But he's like... I like this one. This one too, huh? Mm, a little hard to... I'll pick this one. I think the only mistake the, that Gen 5 uh, did regarding the Pokemon design was to stick a little too close to Gen 1. I think that's what that was like their biggest mistake. Pokemon has been very formulaic ever since like its inception. Well, Gen 2 onwards, you know, you cannot have a formula on the original since the original was the first one. Oh, that's the rubbish. I thought that was the Eevee. But yeah, I mean, when you start again, you are you're going to find like your typical flying bird Pokemon that looks like just a normal bird. The Pokemon that is the, the that regions Pikachu, things like that. And personally, I don't like it. I don't like that aspect of Pokemon. Because those slots could be covered by other more interesting designs. I don't need like the seven or eight or nine iteration of a PG. Really. Show me something else. Maybe on that region there weren't any birds. Or or maybe like the birds that were there were steel types. They were more mechanical in nature, something different, I mean, anything. I like this one, he looks like ready for action. But in this one, yeah, I'll pick this one. Um, nowadays, it's this. even more, like, prominent, like, it's, it sticks out more because there is less Pokémon each generation. A new discovery. So, 
when you start a generation, let's say you have 80 or 90 new Pokemon, and from those 80 or 90, at least 10 to 20 of, to of those are just rehashes or of an old Pokemon. Nice work. Because of the formula. Oh, excellent. So yeah, I would like a generation where like there was just like, just new designs. Like no rehashes or other Pokemon, nor clones of another one. Because that's another nice problem, one. like for example, if you take, and I really hate them, this Pokemon, Thunderous, Thunderous, Landorus, and Tornadoes, like, they are the same Pokemon. The same one, just in a different color and with just some bells and whistles that are different. It looks ugly. It's ugly, uh, the, the, whole, the, the three of them are super, super, like, bland. Like, yeah, they're genies. A new discovery. What do genies do? They cross their arms. They, like, have a, their floats. They are very generic. Great timing. Their animal forms, like, they look a little better. But even then, like, wh then why do you have, like, the genie form? It looks really dumb. Nice work. Ooh. I'll take that. A new discovery. Nice work. If you take, for example, Sabdus Articuno and Moltres, nice work. They were, yeah, the three were birds. They were legendaries, but they weren't the exact same birds. Their designs were different, even if they were birds. You have Moltres that is more like a phoenix type of thing. Then you have Sabdus, who has the spikes all over his body because he's electric. And then you have Articuno, who looks like more of a regular bird. But it's blue because it can control the blizzards and things. Oh no! Oh, I didn't want to do that, I got distracted. Oh well. Oh, you need how much? Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ! Oh, that's a lot of points. I'm going to be doing that on my like spare time between episodes. Yeah, I'm not gonna save that many futures as I know I'm gonna be getting back here a lot. So I can take much many many pictures. Oh, so we changed like the That's interesting, but how do I change area again? Ah, doesn't matter for now. Okay, so we already went to the forest. We have uh, we took pictures of the Illumina Pokemon. Let's go back to the volcano. Okay, let's see if we can level up this area now. If we do if we do level up, uh, we are going to go back here and take more pictures to see what we find. If not, we will change areas, okay? Good luck. Okay, I know I'm Inferno, it's gonna jump from here, so I better be ready. Oh! Oh! Okay. I was not ready for that. I mean, there's a Talon Flame in there. Come on, Inferno. Thank you. Thank you. And there you go again. 
Oh, oh, that's that's great. That's that was great. Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh, monkeys cover fire. <laughs> that's great. Yes, you took the, the words right of my mouth, Rita. The words right off my mouth, I mean. Okay, good picture. Okay, I'm gonna try to hit the talon flame. Okay, there it goes. Okay. I use a lot of pictures just doing that, I'm sorry for that. Now if I remember there was a Charmander in there, but I missed it. Okay, the Tyrantrums. Okay, I was just trying to see like... Oh well, oh I missed that. I was just trying to see if that was going to like affect the the gravelers. Oh I was gonna hit the graveler but it hit the the tyrantrum instead. Oh yeah, remember this hole? Yeah. I I have yet to discover what's in here. Maybe there is like a, a crystal bloom I can activate. Or maybe if I if I hit the Charmander. Okay, there's one. I'll try to hit the other. Okay, it went inside the cave. Oh come on! So I do have to hit them. So maybe if I hit if I hit them that something will come out or I don't know. What is this blue liquid? It's, it's like I don't know, it looks interesting. I mean, I don't think that's water, yeah. No, maybe it's blue lava? There he goes! Oh! Oh! Why did you come back? Maybe it was just for the picture? Well, I know an Aerodactyl is coming. I still have some film, so... Hey, you big fella. You've run out of memory. Oh. Let's call that enough research for now. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see if we can level up this time. Oh, wow, I think we are going to level up. There's a lot of new pictures. Okay, Altaria sleeping. Yeah, let's see if this one works. I mean, it's basically the same picture of Shinx. Okay, we have ones and fours. I think I'm gonna... Yeah, oh wow. Yeah, I'm gonna take this one. In this case, Talon Flame, we have...
Oh, come on. That was going to be a Moonferno picture. It ended up being Talon Friends. Oh, Jesus. Okay, two star Talon Friends. Okay, number two. No, number three is the best one for the Ravelers rolling out. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use. I could use this one, but I don't know which is the which one is the graveler I'm pointing to, and the game is not gonna tell me. Uh, yeah, this one is better. Oh yeah, monkey discovers fire. <laughs> this one is good too. I could use any of these ones, but they are a little far away, so I'm gonna pick this one. Yeah, it was a uh, yeah, this card. As for the type lotion, a one star picture. Oh. It looks like a Cyndaquil from this angle. Yeah, I think I'll pick this one. He's right in front of us. Um, the particle effects like. We're blocking, we're blocking off on this picture. Oh, it's a level 3 picture. Yeah, I'll take it. Okay, this is a level 3 picture. I'll take it too. Alright, let's go. Let's do this. Great timing. Okay. Yeah, I'll take it. Nice work. Uh, it's almost the same, but of course I keep the original. Mm. Okay, nice I just got a realization. Well, let's do this first. All right. Okay. I'm not complaining. I'll take it. But now I know I need to be ready for that. Okay, so I had a realization. I was waiting for a picture that had an, an old version of it, like in it. Perfect. All right, so if if my original picture is worth more points and I replace it with a picture that is worth less, way less. Does that mean the next time I take like a picture with more points uh, than the than the second one, will the game give me those points? Because the, the game only counts the points of, pic of pictures like that get better scores. I don't know if I'm making myself clear. I hopefully am. Mm. Nice work. Because that will be a good way to farm for points. Instead of trying to get like much better angles, I'm going to try that uh, on my free time and I'll get back to you on that later. Mm, nice work. Okay, I'll take it. Ooh, I know that too. Mm, nice work. Walking on the ground. Oh, I see. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, sure. Hit me. Mm, great timing. Okay. Mm, great timing. Ah, come on. I was so close. Only threw two more points. Okay, we level up. So as promised, Fantastic. we're going to retry this stage to see what's new.
here we go, let's see. Okay, there's an IP up there. So far, so good. Okay, let's try to hit that Archeops. No, a little higher. Yeah! <laughs> Would you fly? No, you were wrong. Okay, so we now got a ton of flames. Yeah, it's coming right out! Yeah! We got a good picture. Okay, I got a little bit excited <laughs> for that. Okay, now Monferno. Concentrate on the Monferno falling. Come on, really? He's very fast. Maybe I should try to take a picture where he's landing instead. Oh, they are flying. Well, trying to. Oh, come on. That was already on. Yeah. Uh, thank you for photobombing, Archeops. Okay, at least we got some good Monferno pictures. He looks really happy. And those are Kyops trying to fly. And we didn't use as many uh, of our film as last time, as much of our film. Hopefully. Oh, by the way, when I was finishing the last episode, I was moving to, to make the scene change on OBS. Oh, yeah. And I almost accidentally, like, well, I actually disconnected, like, the charger from my laptop. And that only almost gave me a heart attack because this laptop doesn't have, like, a good battery. So it's basically just working with the... with the charger on. So yeah, that was real scary. It's a good thing I, I managed to... <laughs> okay, <laughs> that was a great picture. Okay, now let's concentrate on the Charmanders. I think I need to mute them. Like, I was lucky enough that I managed to connect the laptop before anything bad happened. Okay, that's one. Oh, come on, come on. No, don't move. Okay, that's the second one. Yes, go on. Okay, hopefully that causes something over here. Oh, thank you for posing, little fella. Have an apple. What about the Torco? <laughs> Oops. Okay, those are some great pictures. What about the Graveler? Come on! Okay, oh wow, yeah, that, that was a great picture. That one too. Oh, he's, he was sitting on that one. And there he goes. Wait, there he goes? That's interesting. Oh, so that attracts a second type pollution. So the first type pollution is, is not that he came back. It was that there were two of them now. So... Okay. Your memory. Wrap it up. Come on back. Uh, so I was thinking maybe if I distract them enough, 
instead of scaring them away, they will fight the Aerodactyl or something? It's just an idea. Good to see you. Okay, let's see if, we're, if, we're, if we get new... Uh, okay, yeah, we got good pictures. Again, this one just looks like the same picture. Okay, so we actually just need a, a, a yeah, level 1 Arceus. Hmm, I think this one is okay. So 14 or number 9. I mean, he's right in the middle. Yeah, um, although... In this one you can see the whole body, but he's not facing us. So let's try this one. Ah, aha, so this is a three star feature. So I guess the four star is when the two of them are together, so maybe I can like lure them with apples or something. Oh, the Talonflano, yeah. Sorry, I got distracted. Okay, Monferno, I don't have any new one in, in the star department, so maybe 13? 11 is also good. So either 13 or 11. I'll pick 13. Oh, so we got a new one star traveler. Excellent. I mean, just look at this. It's the perfect picture. Yeah, I'll take it. I mean, I wanted to do the rolling one, but you know, that one ended up being the better one. Okay, number 10. <laughs> this one looks like a selfie. Alright, number 10 it is. I think it's the best one. Oh, this is a two star. Alright, I'll take this one. It's easier to take the, the ones that don't have the stars yet because that way you get the, the points that I don't see if the picture was good or bad. Because there is no no point of, I mean there is no like uh, uh, other pictures to compare to. Nice work. Oh wow, that's a better size. And even then, like it got like lower scores. Nice work. Ah, so I guess we got a new champion. They are basically the same picture, but come on. Okay. Ah, complete. Hey. Perfect. Mm. Perfect timing. All right. So far, so good with the explosion. Okay, Talon Flame. Perfect timing. Ah, better size. Yes. That's what I was expecting. It's a little hard to get him like on the right. Uh, the right position, but we did it. Nice work. Okay, yeah, I'll take it. Nice work. Perfect. I just wish I know I knew how to wake them up. There has to be a way. I mean, the only thing I have a complaint on is the size. He's covering the whole uh, screen. I mean, the only thing you can see are like his little hands, but come on. Nice work. Okay, I'll take it. Mm, perfect timing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I bought it myself. Perfect. Okay, we got very a very good score, I hope. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like a third of the required points to level up. Okay, let's save the picture so we can finish the episode. Do, 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 do.
Alright, I think that is going to be everything for today. Thanks. I'll try to level up uh, some more stages on my free time. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Have something to say? Comment down below. Want to see more? Please subscribe. If this video ending, you can bet it is. So thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.